All right, so this is a video of how I dye his hair blue. As you can tell, it's already faded, so we're gonna redo it. Um, I've been doing this for like the past year for him. I'm not a professional though, so do this at your own risk. This is just how I do it, and it's worked so far, so I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, these are the supplies you need. Um, these are the ones for bleaching. See how I have it written down, because my friends told me. Um, this one you don't want to put on kids' scalp because the, it will like burn their scalp. So what I do is I mix both. And then this is the bleach I use. It's from uh, the, that company. And then um, this is the color we're going to be using after it's been uh, bleached. It's Manic Panic. Um, a bowl to mix things in and a brush. This I just use as um, to measure the things, measure the liquids. Then you need gloves. If you don't use gloves, the blue will stay in your hands for days. And then this uh, Vaseline I use around his hairline just so it doesn't like um, stain his forehead and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna sh show you guys how I mix the stuff. Um, let me move this. I already had one of these packets open in a little bag so I'm just gonna use that also I got all the supplies at Sally's it's like I don't know total could be like 30 bucks 40 bucks I don't remember <clears throat> so you dump like the first time I used half of the pack so obviously I have the rest left over so I'll use this half a pack And since he has a little bit of hair, um, I don't need a lot. It's just the top part of his head. And then I'm gonna put the rest of this 40 because it isn't a lot. I only have a little bit. 40 developer. <clears throat> and then 30. I don't, um, I don't uh, measure this one just because I want to see the consistency of it. Like, I'm sure if you watch videos, they'll tell you how much um, liquid you need, but I usually just do it by eye just to see the consistency. Like, if I need more, like, see, like, this is too runny, so I'll add more powder to it. And you can just keep mixing until you get like this thicker consistency that's not gonna be super super runny but not like not like uh, kind of like a lotion almost consistency at least that's how I like it everyone does it different so actually you know what like this is the consistency I like let me see like that so this should be enough for his hair um, now I'm just gonna wear my glove, put my gloves on, and we'll start putting it on his head. So I also forgot to mention you need some kind of clip and a comb. Obviously my comb broke, it doesn't have a handle, but it'll still work. All right, um, I tend to work on the shorter side first. So this is the shorter side and this is the long side. So I side this way. And then I use the clip to hold that side as much as I can. So we just got done putting all the uh, bleach in his hair and we actually have a lot left. I shouldn't have made so much, but anyway. Um, yeah, so it'll take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. And as you can tell, like some parts are, oh, this way, are already turning like light. So it'll take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes depending on your own hair. Uh, so now we just wait.
and then we'll wash it off and add the blue. And then uh, don't lean back against like walls or something or else this will get on the walls. I've accidentally done that before and it took a while to get off. But luckily you can get it off, but I think it's hard, right? Yeah, if you get like this dye on your walls or any furniture or anything, like any plastic or wood areas, um, you could take it off with nail polish. So just FYI. All right, we'll be back. All right, just checking in. This is at the 15 minute mark or 20 minute mark. It's pretty blonde on this side because I started here, um, but this side still needs to get a little bit more blonde. So just letting you know how it looks. Mm. All right, update. It's pretty blonde now. It's been 30 minutes, so we're gonna wash it off. Um, one quick like a side note is I wouldn't recommend doing this if you already dye your hair. Like I dye my hair black, so I wouldn't do this at home. I would have like a hairstylist do it for me. This only works the way I'm doing it if you already have like virgin hair, you know? Like don't don't mess with your hair if you already have different hair dyes because hairstylists know how to lift different colors and all that crap. So just FYI. So yes, I said crap. <laughs> Okay, so now it's washed off and it's pretty blonde. Um, let's see. Sorry. It's not fully blonde. <laughs> yeah, it's not fully blonde. It's not platinum blonde, but it's blonde enough to catch the, the color we're going to add on. Mm -hmm. um, we are using the brand Manic Panic. I've never actually used this brand. I usually use a, the brand Ion, but it's all sold out everywhere because apparently everyone's dyeing their hair at home. So we'll see how this one goes. This one was like 13 bucks, so it's not too bad. Um, only thing I don't like so far is the top was really hard to get off and um, it actually flew everywhere and it stained some stuff. So I'm gonna have to remove that with nail polish, but uh, we'll see how the actual color looks. It's like a really cool blue. It looks darker. Than yeah, it's like a darker original. blue. It's nice though. It's kind of like a dodger, dodger blue almost. Yeah, dodgers. Okay, so I'm gonna put, yeah, put your gloves on because like I already got stained my hands from just opening it. Um, Do you use nail polish on your hands if you get it on your hands? Nail polish remover? Yeah. I mean, you can. Mm -hmm. It's it. Oh my god. So, um. Alright, so put on your gloves. And then, um, oh my God, these are so hard to get on. Okay. Then I'm gonna use the same bowl, I washed it out. I'm gonna put the blue in here and then just put it right on. You don't have to, you don't have to mix this with anything. You just put it right on their hair. Yeah. So we're gonna start with like, you only need a little bit like that much. Yeah, maybe. It's a good thing when they package a lot. And um, again, you're gonna start from the smaller side, the shorter side, and then move over to the longer side. side. I forgot to mention, before you start the blue, you have to add the Vaseline around their hairline or else the blue's gonna get stuck everywhere. They're hurting a lot. So it's it's gonna get stained, and you don't, you don't want to go to school or camp with a blue forehead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, it's a good thing we barely, we didn't even start on the front. It's pretty much done. Um, I'm just using the brush to kind of comb through it and make sure that everything's covered in blue dye. Um, 
I also recommend grab, grab the wipe. Having wipes around and that way he can wipe his forehead as you're dyeing the hair because if you leave the, the dye in, um, on the forehead, he will have a blue forehead the next day. And then we leave this for like another 30, 30 minutes and then we just rinse off with shampoo and conditioner. Mm -hmm. And then like one of the conditioner I think makes it like soft, makes it feel soft, right? Yep. So it's like, so you can like touch it. All right. Mohawk. We'll be back in a little bit. On the hawk. Pause it. All right, it's been about 30 minutes and it's pretty blue everywhere. Um, so now we're just gonna wash it off. Make sure you wear your gloves even when you wash it off because it will get everywhere. Yep. And here's the big reveal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a teal color. Um, there's some green in there because of the previous dye job we did in the it, it, the color was different, so this time it looks like a teal green turn around. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, show them the towel. Yeah. Um, it will stain the towels. Yeah, it'll stain towels. Thanks. Let me see. Hands. Turn around. Turn it around. Like Where is everything. it? Everything. See? Everything. It'll stain towels. It'll stain the sink. I don't know if you can see it. It'll stain everything. Your hands. So, um, as they keep the kids keep washing their hair, um, it will keep washing off for the next two weeks. So make sure they use like a darker towel. And if they go to sleep with their hair wet, they should probably lay the towel out on their pillow. Yeah, or else the when you sweat, all the hair dye color will come onto the pillow and then it'll just turn it the pillow blue or something. Whatever color you want. Blue, green, pink, purple, doesn't matter. Blonde, doesn't really matter. Let me see. <laughs> Mom put it in the hair. So she doesn't want to put a towel. Alright, now that it's dry, we can see that it's actually a pretty neon type color. I thought it was going to be like blue like this, but it's very neon. I don't think I'm a big fan of this brand. Um, I will post a picture of the brand that we usually use, so you guys can try that one. Um, but if not, I guess you guys can use this one. Do you like mm. this color, this bright neon, or do you like the dark one? Mm. Dark. Dark, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye.